handsome and beautiful. Today we will talk about the Hittite Empire. This empire was founded by Labaran I or Hatsuli I, with on the areas north and south of Hattusa and then Hattusa region, giving rise to the Hittite Empire. Her grandson, Mursili I, assumes the government after her death and conducts a great attack in the Euphrates River region, bypassing Assyria and plundering the regions of Mary and Babylon. This long campaign left the capital in a state of almost anarchy due to the high cost, which made Mursili murder when returning, make the kingdom hit it dive into chaos in an era of mediocre kings and territory disputes until Telepnu takes over and obtains some victories in the southwest after combining Hurrian states to fight the Mitanni. The following period is called the Middle Kingdom and is characterized by few historical sources, possibly because the Hittites are always at war against the Casca, who was an Indo-European people and were located on the back of the Black Sea. This period ended with Tudalia's first rise to the government. This king carried out aggressive expansion campaigns against the, against the Hurrian states of Aleppo and Mitanni, and he also gave rise to the traditions of kings to have an hereditary section and to be seen almost as divine people after a period of prosperity, the Hittite Empire begins to lose territories to the Assyrians that conquer the regions of Mitan and Hurrian. Some Hittite kings trying to make alliance with Egypt to bar the Assyrian expansions but were unsuccessful. So the last known king called Supilulium II observed his empire to be invaded by Assyrians, Babylonians, and the peoples of the sea. With Hattusa being buried in year of 1180 BC, after a combined attack of Cascas, Frisians, and Bridges, which made the Hittite Empire disappear from historical records, and its territories were incorporated by the Assyrian. 